Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am in upstate New York right now visiting my family for the holidays. And the other day, my mom, Miles, and I hit up some of my favorite antique country stores that they have around here. I have not been able to find anything quite like these stores that they have in upstate New York where I live in Florida. So whenever I come here, I love to hit up these stores and pick up a few small items that I can fit into my suitcase. If I lived here, I would absolutely go crazy and have to have everything, so maybe it's a good thing that I don't. Most of these items I got for half off because all the stores were having a sale for all of their holiday stuff, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first two items that I just thought were absolutely gorgeous that I picked up are from a store called Dantiques. So what I love about Dantiques is a lot of his items are shipped in from different countries and are handmade and used by people in those countries. So these two are from India and I just thought they would make really cute vases. I think they look really cute next to each other and since we are building a new house I've just been trying to collect some items that I'll be able to use to decorate. So these two were $16 a piece and I cannot wait to play around with them and decorate them in my house and the other things I picked up from Dantiques are these really pretty 3d metal stars I got one large one and two of these smaller ones I thought these would be so cool to decorate with Christmas garland and kind of hang them off the garland going down my staircase or off of my mantle I haven't really decided yet but I think they are just so cool if you can see they're kind of like 3d and they're made out of metal but they're still pretty lightweight and they have a loop of twine if you want to hang them from there so I picked up these and they were all on sale, 50% off for the holidays. So I paid around $10 for the three of these. The next store that we stopped at was called A Horse With Wings. I think that's what it's called. A Horse With Wings or something like that. I'll put it in the description box below. Like I said, I am in the Rochester area right now and that is where all three of these shops are located. So I will put all of the names in the description box if anyone lives around that area and would like to check these out. I love them and I highly recommend it. The next thing that I picked up that I thought was really cool were three of these little deer. So as you can see, they're handcrafted. They're made out of antique books and then kind of stained to have that brown appearance and then um, the eyes are made out of little beads so I just thought they were really unique and cute so I picked up three of these and they were half off originally six dollars so I got them for three dollars a piece and I just love finding really unique especially handcrafted pieces that I can just incorporate in all of my decor in my house so I actually saw this when I was visiting um, in the fall and I was thinking about them ever since so I was really excited to come and get them this time and they were half off and then I also picked up two of these really lightweight metal star ornaments um, they were only one dollar a piece because they were on sale and I just thought they were super cute so I got them also so these can be used as ornaments or you can use them do you want to come up I have miles helping me film today so these can be used as ornaments or I don't know maybe I will hang them from things I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna incorporate these hang in my it. decor hang you want me to hang them yeah maybe I'll hang them so I just couldn't resist picking hang up it. these because they were hang on sale for a dollar okay so the next place that I stopped at was called roses in the hedgerow and she had amazing after holiday sales her items are priced really reasonably to begin with plus everything was 40% off so it was even more reasonable uh, so I picked up uh, this little uh, stem which has all of these little twisty okay. branches on them okay. which are made out of wire so they can bend yeah. and then hanging off of them are these rusty bells with a little star detail that I, I thought was so cute 
So these were $5 originally and I got them on sale for $2.50 a piece. So we picked up three of these and I just love the look of old rustic bells. I just thought that these were so unique. I love all of the detail from the different size bells with a little star on there to these little wispy branches that are made out of wire so you can kind of bend them to look the way that you want to. So like I said, these were on sale for $2.50 a piece and I picked up three of them. I also picked up this um, string, I guess it would be garland, with these rusty brown stars on them. And the stars are kind of on this elastic material and they're just metal like I said. And this was on sale for $2.50. I love this look and I just thought that there was so much that I can do with this so I was really excited to find it and like I said I have a really hard time finding unique pieces like I found at these stores where I live in Florida so I'm really excited to just play around with this one and see how I can incorporate it in my house. These next items are flowers that are made out of felt. Um, they're each handcrafted, and I don't know what they put on them to make them a little bit stiff, but I thought they were so unique, and then glued onto um, these really cool twigs or sticks. So I picked up three of them, and she expects to have other types of flowers in, which I might have to get also, because I just think they're so cool and would look really cool um, in a vase or something on my table for spring. So I got three of these, and these were on sale for, I believe, um, $2 a piece as well. And then this was kind of random, but I had to run into Hobby Lobby, and this is the first time I've seen these there. They had these wooden beads, which are very popular for farmhouse decor, but I love that it had this little wooden personalized letter option at the end, so I got a G for my last name. And this was $7.99, but on sale for 40% off, so I just wanted to show you this that I also picked up. I think this looks really cute, kind of wrapped around and coming out of one of the vases that I picked up, so again, I can't wait to play around with this one also. All right, and I just wanted to show you real quick this piece that my mom got. Um, it is a wine press. And it's in the garage right now because I think she's going to refinish it a little bit. But how cool is this piece, you guys? I'm so jealous that I can't get any big pieces here because, I don't know, trying to get it back to Florida would be a nightmare. But I think this is such a cool piece. I think she's just going to use it for decor in her little wine room. I just love incorporating vintage pieces into the home, so I am definitely going to be looking for things like this when I get back to Florida. Miles, do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> one. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys is a little larger, so I had to back up a little bit, but these are handmade signs from a shop in my town called Blue Barn Furniture and Decor. And this one just has my last name established 2015 when my husband and I got married. I think these signs are so awesome. My mom got me that for Christmas actually, and they're all hand painted. They're not used with um, decals or vinyl. She paints everything on by hand so they'll never peel off. And then the wood um, frame is all handcrafted by her and her husband as well. So that is an amazing small business that um, was started recently from my town. So I will link that shop down below as well because I just think that it is awesome and I love all of her signs. This is the sign that my mom had made. It says, find your tribe, love them hard. So she can customize any sign to say whatever you want and I just think they look so cool and I love things that are customizable. She has really awesome fonts and I love that they're all hand painted. I think that just makes them super special. So again, this is called Blue Barn furniture and decor and I'm not 100% sure on how much they cost because like I said I did get my sign for a gift 
but I will link in the description box all of the details to her shop. All right guys, that is it for this video. I just wanted to show you all of the home decor that I picked up on this trip. Let me know if you guys enjoy videos like this or shop with me's to antique shops and things like that because as you know, I am building a house so I am in full shopping home decor mode so I would love to take you guys along on that journey with me if you are interested and to show you everything that I have planned. I am going to be headed back to Florida tomorrow so I will already be in Florida when this video is posted. Expect more of a regular posting schedule from me now that I am back and in my normal routine. However, I will not be in the same house that you are used to seeing because we have rented that house and are moving in with my in-laws for the next six months or so until our house um, that is being built is ready for us to move in. So expect videos from me regularly, but it is not gonna be in the same house. So make sure you are subscribed and expect about two to three videos a week from me as usual. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I have a ton of exciting videos planned for 2019. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Stay true to the fire in your heart and your soul. Don't drench your desire in what you can't control. We fly, we fly, try so hard together and we might, we might, be lost but not forever.